Hey guys, we're Jay and Jamie, and today we're gonna to show you how to make another awesome Halloween prop that you can make at home. We're gonna show you how to make a magical floating wine bottle that pours wine endlessly, and we're gonna show you how to make a cool glowing smoking effect that comes out of the cup. Huge thanks to Bright Cellars for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk more about their delicious wine in a little bit. So the materials you need for this are actually pretty simple. You need your wine glass, of course, a plastic wine bottle because it's gonna be a lot lighter than a glass one, a tiny little water pump, and some clear rigid plastic tubing. So the gist of what we're gonna do is this pump is gonna sit inside the cup. This tube is gonna go in this pump. This bottle is gonna go on this tube and you will have something like that, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that is the idea, that is the goal. The I bought the wrong size hose, so that's a, a good start. <laughs> so don't do that. But we have to figure out how to get this in here and have it actually stay. The other thing, we bought the smallest pump imaginable because it needed to fit in this cup. And I have no confidence that this thing is gonna push it up enough. It's gonna be fine. So right out of the gate, we have like two things that might not work, so I guess we should just get started. <laughs> I think the first thing we need to do is test the pump, but before we can do that, this needs to fit in here, and we didn't buy the right size. It said it was the right size. Yeah, I didn't just buy the wrong pipe. I like read the directions and bought this, and it doesn't fit. This was supposed to go fit on this little attachment here, and it doesn't. We could take it out and then put this just right in here. It can't be like wobbly. That's why we're not using a flexible hose. We could wrap this in tape. Like and then plumber's like, tape stuff? Yeah, yeah, like try to increase the diameter so that it fits snugly in there. You think that might be secure enough? Um, we can try it. <laughs> yeah, and it has to be watertight. That's the other thing. So so I guess we would just we could just wrap this. Okay. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, that seems pretty good. How's it feel? Good. I think we should put a little more tape on it, except we're out more. of tape. More. What? This is, we have one little piece. That's it. <laughs> you know what? I think it's enough for us to test. I have water. Are you ready? Yes. Ah! Oh. It totally works. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. It's very wobbly though. Why is it so wobbly? It's totally the tape. Is part of the effect that the wine bottle wobbles back and forth? Yes, it's a natural effect. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I think it should be fine. If that's there, that's... Now this is gonna sit in here, but having the cord stick out... No bueno. So I think we can drill a hole in this. Could have it come out like right here mm -hmm. and just kind of hide down the back. This tip is not gonna go through a small hole, so we're gonna actually cut this. We probably could have got a bigger cup too, but I really liked this one. <laughs> it's got skull hands. It does. It's awesome. This is so cool. Okay, I can immediately tell you, try to get a plastic cup. Learn from our mistakes. That's right. We make the mistakes, so you don't have to. <laughs> so if we go through here first, and then through here. There, okay. Look. Now this gets lined up back here, put a little glue, a little paint, no one will know. After doing that, my recommendation is get a bigger cup and have it be plastic. Up to you, choose your adventure. <laughs> to glue them in, we are going to use this stuff, which is a two-part epoxy, and it dries in like five minutes, so it should be perfect. So I'll pull the cord. Okay, that's a good idea. And then we want it to sit as flat as it can. Does that look flat? It looks pretty flat to me. Easy. Yeah. Now we're going to fill in the little hole there with hot glue, so none of the water escapes. All lined up? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I like it. We strip the wires, and now we connect the right side back to the right side. Twist them up, put some tape on, good to go. Next we have to figure out how tall we want this to be, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe like here? This will be closed. <laughs> <laughs> we turn down the power. Oh! No, that's not down! That was the wrong way! <laughs> and that looks better. I mean, technically it's working. Yeah. So what if we take some of this tube, put it over it, Have and it go then, like way up and then the it bottle. like kind of goes into the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're going to figure this out. Ah, this is a disaster. Okay, at least we didn't add the food coloring yet. I don't even really understand what's going wrong. It works for a while, and then it okay. falls. <laughs> right. If we could get this method more rigid and not gonna fall over. Just did it. Oh, oh psh, dang. Okay, <laughs> it's the end of the day, so we're gonna call it for today. I'm gonna sleep on it, think about it, and we'll come back tomorrow and, and try again. Okay, the wine will flow. So now we have a longer piece of the flexi tube. We're gonna stick it on here and glue it inside the bottle. That way it'll actually allow the water to flow into the bottle a little bit and then come out more naturally. Oh. Okay, I mean, that's working. 
It's just not gonna stay like this if I let go. You know what we didn't do? Spray water everywhere. Well, hey, <laughs> it's an improvement. <laughs> it's definitely improved. Basically, we need it to bend a little bit, but not too much. So we need like- The perfect <laughs> amount of bend. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we don't make mistakes around here. We just have happy little accidents. Why is this tube so stretchy? You know, oh, I got another idea. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, high five. Is it time for food coloring? I think so. All right. Let's try this. Let's turn this water into wine. <laughs> to make wine, we're just using simple food coloring. I'm gonna use mostly red, tiny bit of blue, and maybe a little black. We'll see how it looks. Yeah, it looks like wine. It's a pretty small amount too, so if we didn't get it quite right, we could just try it again. All right, definitely still a little transparent. How do we make it more opaque? I don't know. You went you went for the two drops, didn't oh, you? Oh, it turned brown. It like instantly turned brown. I told you it went a long way. Dang it. Okay, is this recoverable? Can you correct it? Eh? I think that's good. You like that? I like that color. We're gonna age it with some acrylic paint and we're also gonna add in a label that we designed. This is from Wicked Cellars, the Sanguine Blend. We did a Patreon poll. We did. And you guys overwhelmingly <laughs> chose the black version, which if you're not on our Patreon, by the way, it's a great way to support our projects month mm -hmm. to month and get lots of cool stuff. And particip particip participate <laughs> in polls. Anyway, how do you get a paper to stick on a bottle? With glue. With glue. <laughs> we're gonna use Mod Podge. That looks so cool. It's our own wine. We should make our own wine. We should. How do you make, I don't know how to make wine at home. We did bootleg bathtub stuff. That's Buy our bathtub wine. <laughs> <laughs> I got black, brown, white. We don't want it to look like an ancient wine bottle. It looks dusty, a little scratched. They've been sitting on a shelf for like a hundred years. Dirty old bottle, clean new bottle. Easy to do, just black, brown, white, splotch it all around, good to go. Okay, it's the next day again, and we had a better idea. We liked what we did yesterday, but we knew it could be better. The thing we didn't like was that it was very straight. It didn't really look natural. Mm -hmm. So we made this one. Mm -hmm. So it turns out you can bend this using a heat gun. A little bit of heat on this plastic tubing allowed us to very gently bend it. And watch this. Yeah. It follows that curve beautifully. Look at that, that's so cool. See, the water is actually going into the bottle, filling up the bottle slightly, and then coming back out of the bottle, mm -hmm. which gives us this more natural flow. Since this is all rigid now, it's not pulling it over. However, it's pulling the cup. The catch is, if I let go, it's gonna tip over. So the center of gravity is now here, instead of being over the cup. Luckily, Jamie had a really good idea on how to fix that, and that's what we're gonna do next. Cause it's kind of wreck safe, I don't wanna have to hold this. <laughs> So these are paint stir sticks. They're the kind that you can get for free at the big box store in the paint section. Don't steal them, but when you buy paint, you can get them for free. That's what they're for. And they're perfect size. They're really thin, but they're very rigid. We're gonna glue these on with a little bit of the same two-part epoxy that we used to glue the, the pump in. Before we do another water test, we're gonna glue the cord down the back of the cup. All right. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, this goes back in here. Mm -hmm. Point it towards the sticks, right? Bottom on. Ready? Oh. We have wine. Yes, it's working. Woo! Yes, look at that. It even looks like there's wine in the bottle, which is great. A little, more. A little more in. Just yeah, because once, once it fills the bottle, it, it drains the cup. But also what happens is when you turn it off, and there's, it overflows. there's now more fluid than can fill the cup, so it overflows the cup, yeah. That's so great. This is perfect. We did it. Now what? Thanks for watching. There's more Halloween decoration ideas right there. Until next time, stay wicked.